Alex Porras. In lane eight, the hair to chase in this final of the men's 400 meter hurdles. There is uh, Maxim Sinkovic of Latvia, 50-33 man. It's going to take something in the 49s at least here to take the title. Wilfried Happio of France, who was pretty impressive in qualifying here, as indeed was this man. Emil Agyakom of Germany. Tall, long striding. Perfect build for this one-lap hurdles race. Nick Schmidt, who uh, was a comfortable qualifier, crossed the uh, line in the semi-final alongside Konstantin Preis of Germany, who was the fastest qualifier, 50-0-3. Well, I think it's very fair to say there is nothing to pick between Preis and Schmidt. Britain have a finalist. Alex Nibs got through only as a fast qualifier. Young man from the East Midlands of England, coached by Nick Dakin himself, a former quarter hurdler. And right on the inside, Ramsey Angela of Netherlands. So, from the inside, Angela of Netherlands, Nibs of Great Britain, who was disqualified in the European Junior Final a couple of years ago. Preis of Germany, a semi-finalist in the European Junior Championships in the same race that Nibs was disqualified in. What a transition he's made. Schmidt, eliminated in last year's heats of the European Championships outdoors, who was disqualified in this final two years ago. Agyakum of Germany is in five. Happio France in six. Sinkovos of Latvia in seven. Poras of Spain in eight. So the 45 meter run to this first barrier. Who's the first to rise? Happio has gone off very fast, as has Porras of Spain right on the outside. Also Schmidt, tall man, four from the right, looking very composed indeed, closing down on Agyakum, and Agyakum now and Schmidt landing virtually together. The Frenchman Happio making a bit of a burst. This though is the crucial period. The change down in the stride pants and Happio at the moment of France looking very comfortable indeed. He's got about a metre lead. Happio touches down ahead of the rest. Look at Schmidt coming through there, fourth from the right. But it's Happio of France. Can he get the final barrier right? Just puts in an extra stride, but it's cost him nothing. And in the end, the Frenchman has won it and done it with ease. Silver goes to Holland, bronze to Germany. But Wilfried Happio, and what a run that was around that second bend. He has run the time of his life. He's knocked a huge chunk of his lifetime best. He's done it in wonderful fashion. Wilfried Happio, who came here, ranked number four in Europe. He leaves it as the champion. And what a way to do it, Tim. This was emphatic. Well, it was, and what a contrast to Olivieri. He held it together so well down the home straight. Had time after this final barrier. Gets this one right. That's the important thing. Little glance left, little glance right. Schmidt working so hard for the Netherlands in lane four there. Secures second spot, but that's about a three-meter winning margin. 49.03. It's the fastest time in Europe by an under-23 athlete this winter by a big, big margin, and by an even bigger margin, the fastest time he has ever run. Well, in their own way, two quite dramatic 40 mid hurdles finals. This one, really, the sheer simplicity and the quality of the running from Wilfried Happier.